Every Fly.io organization comes with a private network that lets all your apps connect to each other. This is super convenient when you need to have microservices call each other's endpoints, or use Flycast to have your private applications turn off when you're not using them. However, this isn't just limited to your apps. You can jack into this network with WireGuard. Today I'll show you how to create a WireGuard peer to your private network and connect to it so that you can access it from anywhere. In order to get started, we need to get some prerequisites out of the way. First, you need to have Flycuddle installed. This is the command line that lets you interact with Fly.io. Second, you need to have a Fly.io account. And third, you need to download the WireGuard client from their website. All the links to these are in the description. When you create a WireGuard peer, you need a couple pieces of information. First, you need the organization that you want to create the peer in, such as your personal organization. Second, you need the region that you want the peer to be created in. Ideally, this should be the closest peer to you geographically. And third, you need the name for the peer, such as your computer's host name. You can figure out which organizations you can choose from with the fly orgs list command. You can also figure out which region is closest to you by using the fly platform regions command. So scrolling through here, we see some stuff in the Netherlands, we see United States, but I'm near Ottawa in Canada. So, oh, here we go, Montreal, Canada. That has the region code YUL, which is based on the airport code for Montreal. Let's assemble the command. Start with fly wire guard create. I wanna create this in my personal organization, so I'm gonna write the word personal here. Again, I'm close to Montreal, so I'm going to use the region code YUL. And then finally, my computer's host name is Camellia, so I'm going to use that. And then lastly, we're going to save this to camellia.conf. This is the file that will open with the WireGuard client. Hit enter, it creates the peer, and then there, we can load it into WireGuard. In the WireGuard app, I hit import tunnels from file. I go over to camellia.conf. I hit import. I allow it to add VPN configurations, and then I can hit activate. This will activate a connection to my private network through the power of WireGuard. I can test it by pinging underscore api.internal. Note that on macOS, you need to use ping six because this is an IPv6 address. And as you can see, we're in. Now we can get into the really fun part, connecting to apps on your private network. Let's take a look at what apps are available in my network. We're in fly apps list and we see, oh, there's this one called Z Olama. Let's try to connect to it over Flycast. Export Ola, Olama host equals HTTP colon slash slash C dash Olama Flycast. And then we can do Olama LS to see what models are available. It's probably not gonna have anything, but it's gonna take a second because this has to find the machine, boot it up, and then have Olama run the command. So let's do Olama run Llama 3. This will just download the 8 billion parameter Llama 3 model so that we can talk with it and test to make sure that it's working. Now that the model is loaded, we can ask the canonical hello world question to a model. Why is the sky blue? And there you are. We are in our private fly.io network. We connected to an app. We were able to contact our Olama instance that's private and hidden away from the internet. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments down below. I'm more than happy to answer. Have a good day, everyone.